Hello everyone, in today's video we'll make watercolor bookmarks. Most of us read books and making your own bookmark is very fun and easy. So I will show you three options of animal bookmarks. I'll work with watercolor to create a smooth and messy look. We'll paint a cat, a fox and a fish. Let's start with the cat first. I'll tape the paper so that it remains stable during painting. I'm forming a green shade first and using the side of my paint box as a palette. Then I'm applying a darker greenish blue shade. I continue to paint with different darker blue shades. Slowly, I paint the cat's head and ear. Its head and rest of the body are mostly dark blue. I leave a blank space for the eye. I'm applying a very thin layer of blue to the background. We'll use some water to create a thin layer. I'm also applying different shades to that area.
Now it's time to paint the eye. Mix some white and yellow for that. Paint a line as the pupil with black. Lastly, we'll paint the whiskers with black. Our next bookmark is a fox. Start by wetting the paper. We'll use most of the shades of orange and red for the cute fox. Start with a wet brush and create thin layers. I form the fox head and ears. Continue with darker and thicker layers. I'm adding a little yellow to the bottom, then I paint the nose and the mouth with black. Also adding some grey to the body for contrast. Next paint a curved line to form the eyes. You can add some purple to the ear. This will create diversity thus a more beautiful painting. Wait for your painting to dry for a couple of minutes and then paint the whiskers with a thin brush.
For the last touch, I'll splash some dark red to the painting. Personally, I love splashing colors, especially if I'm using watercolors. So, we also finished our lovely fox, now we'll continue with the fish. Here again, I'm wetting the paper, but try not to wet the whole paper, but just the size of the fish. Go ahead and form a dark red with brown and paint the fish's head. Fish's head and body will mostly include red, dark purple and dark blue. Use water in order to make a smooth transition between the colors. Then it's time to paint its tail. We'll mostly use the shades of blue and green. Once again, start with lighter colors and continue with darker colors. Take a clean brush and gently spread the colors a little at the background. Then I paint the eye with black and white at the middle. Lastly, I splash some dark red to the bottom and dark blue to the top, and it's done. We have painted three handmade bookmarks. Maybe you can make them and give away as a gift to your friends and family. See you in my next video.